Viewers, get ready to listen to wise man Daniel as he has just arrived from the prayer mountain. Get your candles ready to catch the fire that will break every barrier between you and God that has connected you to Satan. And also get ready to listen to what God has to say concerning 2021. Any moment from now, wise man Daniel will be joining us. Stay tuned. Well, greetings from the Elohim family. Viewers all over the world, thank you for your prayers and your support. Your prayers and your support are working things out marvelously for myself and my team. We are here because you are there. Your prayers are having great impact. Keep it up. So far, so good. Glory be to God Almighty in the highest. Yes, I'm just coming directly from the prayer mountain. Directly from the, my quiet place, from my quiet place. To share the blessing of God with you as God ushers you to the year 2021. And here I have, is a comprehensive revelation from God for the year 2021 we're about to go into we're about to cross over to but before i share this mind of god with you viewers all over the world i have a brief message from the mountain from the heart of god to you that will usher us to this year 2021 well Before then, let me start by saying our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is ever, ever ready to take you from that dark world, that dark situation, to the shining light. Just as he did to blind Bartimaeus in that book of Mark chapter 10. When you take your readings from verses 40 to 52. He's ever ready, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is ever, ever, ever ready to take you from that sickness, from that disease, from that shame, from that reproach, to the place of good health. Freedom from sicknesses and diseases. Freedom from reproach and comfort and ease of heart, just as he did to the woman with the issue of blood. In that book of Mark, chapter 5, take your readings from verses 25 to 34. But listen to this, viewers all over the world. Though our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the everlasting light of hope, that came to dispel all shades of darkness in this world. He still remains the wisdom of God that came to reconcile all men back to God. Why? Because relationship and fellowship with God Almighty was broken. Under repair, he came to reconcile this. What a great mission he accomplished for you and me. 
this very wisdom of God that came in human form and likeness is wealthier than the most valuable treasure of this world. <laughs> it's stronger, stronger than the combined forces of darkness in hell and on earth. And as God will have it, to God be the glory, he remains the only source of all the essentials of life. You and I, you and me, you and me need to live for him here and now. Hmm. The everlasting light of hope has come to dispel all shades of darkness. The wisdom of God is greater than all. The wisdom of God is greater than all. The wisdom of God is greater than all. That is the message that will usher you and me to the year 2021. Well, will I call it a twin brother to 2020? Well, when we go into the mind of God, we know. Now, as usual, this is a standard for our lives. And I'm going to take you to some books in the Holy Bible. First and foremost, I will refer you to the book of James, chapter 1, verses 5 to 8. Same book of James, chapter 3, verses 13 to the end. And I'll go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. And same book of Proverbs, Chapter 3, verses 13 to 18. And finally, the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3, verses 5 to 15. And I'll be privileged to take my reading from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3, from verses 5 to 15. That's exactly why we're going to coin out the wisdom of God that will usher us to the year 2021. Join me as I read the book of 1 Kings. First King chapter 3, and I will take my reading from verses 5 to 15. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream. And God said, ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon answered, you have shown great kindness to your servant, my father, David, because he was faithful to you and righteous and upright in heart. You have continued this great kindness to him and have given him a son to sit on his throne this very day. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David. But I am only a little child and do not know how to carry out my duties. What a humble approach. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen. A great people, too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern these great people of yours? Hmm. Verse 10. The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for this. So God said to him, since you have asked for these and not for long life or wealth for yourself, nor have asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administering justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never have been anyone 
you. Nor will there ever be. Hmm. Verse 13. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for. Hmm. I will give you what you have not asked for. Both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in obedience to me and keep my decrees and commands, as David your father did, I will give you a long life. Then Solomon awoke and he realized it has been. A dream. Wow. Wow. I know if you are all over the world, you are touched by the humility and sincerity of heart. King Solomon portrayed towards God during his kingship. Hmm. Oh my God. I'm touched. I'm touched. And I know you are touched over there. I know your heart is captured by the scriptures. Now, what is the treasure here? Listen. From this scripture we have read, 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 5 to 15, you agree with me vividly, clearly, that King Solomon did order his life right on the right path to good life through God, in God, and with God. By the wisest choice he made, when God Almighty, his creator, asked him, put him to the test to know who he was. Asked him to choose, to demand for whatever he wanted in life as a king. He was living in affluence. He was not living in poverty. He was living comfortable as a king. People of God, king, Solomon did not ask for wealth, money, property, riches, fame, power, authority, or power, or permanent power to stay in office. As the case is with many kings and queens today, many princesses and princesses today, many rulers, leaders, and presidents today, in many nations around the world today. Instead, King Solomon asked for the greatest key to open God's door. The greatest key to open God's treasure, God's abundance, which is wisdom. Wisdom to govern and rule his people in the fear of the Lord. And going by biblical standard, you agree with me that ever since the session of King Solomon, during his era, during his time, till date, there has never been anyone as rich as King Solomon. There has never been anyone as powerful, authoritative as King Solomon. Never been anyone as wise as King Solomon. Why? Because he was humble and sincere in his approach. He demanded for the best the only most valuable thing in life. Based on this, in tune with Solomon's wisest choice, God said to him, you have asked for wisdom, which is the greatest and the ultimate thing in life. I am moved from my throne. To promise you the availability of other things you never asked for. 
I'm ready to provide you wealth, riches, money, property, fame, power, joy, peace, comfort, and ease of heart that no human being on this earth will surpass or destroy. When God speaks, the wise listens. And when God says yes, no human being can say no. If you try God's authority, you will find yourself where you don't belong. That is God for you. People of God, the lifestyle of King Solomon did set a standard that is expected to be emulated by kings and queens, princes and princesses, leaders and rulers, and presidents of this world in order to govern their people and rule them in the fear of the Lord. But the reverse is the case today. It is rather unfortunate to discover that mouth-watery rights and privileges, selfish ambitions, envy and jealousy, pride and arrogance, has blinded many kings and queens, princes and princesses, rulers and leaders, and presidents of various nations of this world today, from seeing the need to embrace the wisdom of Solomon, the wisdom of God, the creator of the universe, to rule and govern their people. Now, because of time, viewers all over the world, listen to these four words of wisdom and pick the one that concerns you. When God speaks, the wise listens. Number one, No matter what you have acquired in this world, no matter how rich and famous you think you are, no matter the authority and power you have possessed in your domain, without the wisdom of God, without the wisdom of God, wow, your case would be like a man who finds himself at the middle of a wonderful stream, wonderful water, drinkable one, of course, but still cries for water to drink. Wow, what a life of meaningless activities. What a life of expenditure, a life of misery and woe he's living. The wisdom of God is greater than all. Number two, a rich person very wealthy person who lacks the wisdom of God to manage his affluence, properties, acquisitions. Oh my God. We soon become poorer than a beggar on the street. Hmm. The wisdom of God is greater than all. Number three. Owners of Companies, multinational establishments all over the world who lack the wisdom of God to groom, to train successors, those who will succeed them in the nearest future, hmm. will soon leave their companies, establishments, in various nations of the world, in pandemonium, confusion, and total disarray, when they eventually pass on to glory. Wisdom of God is greater than all. Listen to this. No man or woman is immortal. God has decreed and ordained time for everything. There is time to be born, time to live, and of course, time to die. When it's time for you or me to go, we cannot add or subtract from the time. Take note of that. Can I ask you a question? Are you prepared to die? <laughs> That's a serious question. If you are prepared to die, then you are prepared to live. Life is too short. To navigate and cultivate around meaningless activities. Activities that have no lasting significance. That's why the Bible enjoys you and I to live each day as if it were last, 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 last. 
the wisdom of God is greater than all. Number four. Anointing. Take notes. Anointing. Without the wisdom of God to manage it. Is directly proportional to annoyance and frustration. Why, you may ask? Because time will come. Time of tests. Time of trials. Time of persecution. Time of temptation. Time of tribulation. Challenges of life. vicissitudes of life. Harsh realities of life. That you, 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 you may not be able to handle without the wisdom of God. Wisdom of God is greater than all. And at the end of the day, it will look like you are fake in the eyes of many. Permit me to say this. There are two categories of ministers of God. Obedient ministers and humble ministers of God. Two, disobedient ministers, proud and arrogant ministers of God. They have the same father. But God is a jealous God. <laughs> they are of the same source, but our God is a jealous God. How do I mean? What makes a minister obedient and humble is the wisdom of God to manage the anointing. What makes disobedient, arrogant, and proud minister of God to be arrogant and proud, disobedient, is lack of the wisdom of God to manage power, authority. Give it to him. It means what is good for obedient and humble minister of God in the eyes of God may not be good for disobedient, arrogant, and proud minister of God. Our God is a jealous God. And finally, if you ask all over the world, the wisdom of God is greater than all. Finally, finally, finally. The wisdom of God is a key. The key, the key to open, to, to open and close, to open and close, to lose, to burn. The wisdom, the wisdom, 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 open, open. Wisdom of God is the key to open the storehouse of God, the warehouse of God, the strong room of God, where there are more than enough power, authority, wisdom, authority, Power, authority, wealth, fame, popularity, good health, comfort, ease of heart. That can stand the test of time. Indeed, the wisdom of God is greater than all. Thank you. That's the message God gave to me from the mountain, from the quiet place. And I know you are blessed by that message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So right now, I know your time is telling you, it is 2021. Your time is telling you, begin to shout Happy New Year. Time is telling you, hey, hey. Time is, listen, we don't go by sight, we go by faith. We don't go by human time, we go by God's time. According to God's time here, it is not yet 2021. When it is 2021, we'll usher you in there. We'll usher you in there. So, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So right now, get your candle closer to you and get the lighter closer to you. Get your candle closer to you and get the lighter closer to you. While I was at the prayer mountain in my quiet place, God said to me, go and tell viewers all over the world that he has given them the grace to come to him with a pure heart. If God gives you the grace to come to him with a pure heart, you can't just put your finger across and expect to enter his presence. Because only a pure heart will make you ask and receive. Seek and find. Knock and the door will be open. It means you have a role to play. What's your role? Your role is to come before him in humility and sincerity of heart. Asking for forgiveness to usher you to that realm of asking from God. So right now, in humility and sincerity of heart, join me and let's go on our knees because God has promised us 
a pure heart. Pure heart. To come into his presence and demand. What does that mean? It means on our own side, our role is to say, Lord, thank you for forgiving me. How do we say that? God has declared Psalm 51 to be the usher that will usher us to the promised land. Hmm. So join me as we read Psalm 51. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read Psalm 51, inserting my name where the message is personal. Remember the amazing power of prayer point. This year, double anointing. Double anointing, whether you like it or not. What has never happened will begin to happen through this prayer point. Psalm 51. I will read. I will read, insert my name, then you follow. Insert your name. Take your Bible, take your Bible, take your Bible, open to Psalm 51. Get your candle and the lighter close to you. My candle is here and the lighter is close to me. Any moment from now. We'll be... Ah, my God. So, Psalm 51. Have mercy on wise man Daniel, O God. Insert your name. Have mercy on Elizabeth, O God. Have mercy on John, O God. Have mercy on Aki, O God. Have mercy on Adiola, O God. Have mercy... Oh, Solomon, oh God. Have mercy on David. Oh, just put your name. You know 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 your name. By inserting your name to this scripture. Any bad omen attached to your name will be destroyed. Take notes. I'm from somewhere. I'm not here alone. There is somebody you cannot see. Look beyond this body you are seeing. Look beyond this appearance. If you consider this appearance, you will not do anything. You will not even find it comfortable to be on your knees. But if you look beyond this appearance, you will see someone greater than all about to usher you to 2021. Hmm. We start. Psalm 51. Have mercy on wise man Daniel, O God. According to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out wise man Daniel's transgressions. Wash away all wise man Daniel's iniquity. And cleanse wise man Daniel from his sin. For wise man Daniel knows his transgressions and his sins is always before him. Against you, you only, has wise man Daniel sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So that you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely, wise man Daniel was sinful at birth. Sinful from the time his mother conceived him. Yet, you desire faithfulness even in the womb. You taught wise man Daniel wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse wise man Daniel with the blood of Jesus Christ, and wise man Daniel will be clean. Wash wise man Daniel, and he will be whiter than snow. Let wise man Daniel hear joy and gladness, and let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from wise man Daniel's sins. And brought out all wise man Daniel's iniquity. Create in wise man Daniel a pure heart, O oh God. And renew a steadfast spirit within wise man Daniel. 
Do not cast wise man Daniel away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from him. Restore to wise man Daniel the joy of your salvation and grant wise man Daniel a willing spirit to sustain him. Then he will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you, O oh God. Deliver was my Daniel from the guilt of bloodshed, O oh God, O oh God, O oh God. You who are God was my Daniel's savior. And was my Daniel's tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open was my Daniel's lips, Lord. And was my Daniel's mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or was man Daniel will bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. Was man Daniel sacrifice, oh God? It's a pure and broken spirit. A broken. My sacrifice, oh God, is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, you, God, will not despise. Build the word of salvation around wise man Daniel. And make wise man Daniel prosper in all his ways. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow. Now, ask God to usher you to the place of his forgiveness as he did the psalmist. King David, each time he committed sin, he would tear his coat of kingship around on the floor like a newborn baby. Oh Lord, forgive me, oh Lord, forgive me. God will look at his heart and see the genuineness of his confession and say, oh my son, it's over. That cancels his record. That was why God declared King David as a man after his own heart. Act of the Apostle, chapter 13, verse 22. I found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Why? Because each time he committed sin, he comes like a baby before God. With genuine willingness to repent. Ask God to grant you the genuine willingness to repent. Because he wants to use that pure heart to usher into his presence and give you a desire. Lord Jesus, by your grace, that has accompanied me from your presence. My quiet place, the mountain. Grant them forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and usher them to your presence to receive today as you usher them to the year 2021. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Wow, congratulations. Now it is time to go into the presence of God, sit on the table with him with a forgiving heart and ask for your heart desire. But take note on this. As you have asked for your forgiveness, I know in your heart you are forgiving those who have wronged you somewhere. Because without forgiving them, you cannot connect with Jesus in 2021. Forgiveness is synonymous with Jesus Christ. He is the symbol of forgiveness. He forgave all who crucified him and even those who killed him on the cross. Luke 23, verse 34. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Who are they? You and me. When you forgive, you meet Jesus because Jesus is forgiveness. And I know you have forgiven. Congratulations for coming to the presence of God. Let's sit on the table right now and demand for hard desire. It is time! Oh my God. Wow. Wow. I know you are there. Yes, I decided to go for matchbox because we want to go by nature. Okay? We want to go by nature. So this is more natural than the artificial one supplied by electricity. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Now, you can light up your candle. Light up your candle. Light up your candle anywhere you are. Light up your candle. Viewers, get ready to listen to wise man Daniel as he has just arrived from the prayer mountain. Get your candles ready to catch the fire that will break every barrier between you and God that has connected you to Satan. And also get ready to listen to what God has to say concerning 2021. Any moment from now, wise man Daniel will be joining us. Stay tuned. Make sure you on your light. Let your candle be on. It's very important. The angels of light are much around in your house, in your, of, in your room, in your parlor, anywhere you are watching us from. In your car, in your office. Anywhere you are watching us from. Make sure your candle is on. Light up your candle. Light up your candle. Light up your candle, the angel of light. Light up your candle, light up your candle. The angel. The angels of light are much around in your bedroom, 
in your parlor, in your sitting room, in your office, in your car, in your kitchen, in your garden, anywhere you are watching us from, viewers all over the world, it is time to light up your candle. The angels of light are much around with you. Distance is not a barrier. They are with you there to lighten up everything that has to do with you. Yes, viewers all over the world, the angels of light are with you at the comfort of your homes. They're in your parlor, I can see them. They're in your bedroom, I can see them. They are in your office, they are in your garden, they are in your kitchen. They are everywhere around you. Anywhere you are watching us from, viewers all over the world, distance is not a barrier to the move of God. You are here, we are there. What counts is not your body, your physical disposition, but your spirit. Once your spirit connects with the glory of God at this moment, you are connected to the shining light. So light up your candle. The angels of light are associating with you right now to the glory of God. I know with your time, you say, oh, it is time, it is time, it is 2021, but it's not yet 2021. God's time is the best. Now, turn with me to the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 3. Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. Are you there? I read. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Wow. And God said, let there be light and was light. What does this mean? It means God Almighty ordained light to shine. God Almighty authorized light to shine. God Almighty ordained light to shine to overshadow darkness. God Almighty authorized light to shine and dispel all shades of darkness. God Almighty established the momentum, the driving force. That dispel all shades of darkness by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree same ordination in your business, in your career, in your life. Let there be light by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. I authorize shining light in all areas of your life. Let there be light. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of God that is here with me. Let the driving force that declare light to overshadow darkness in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Take over your household with shining light. Let there be shining light in all careers. Let there be shining light in your business. You cannot enter 2021 with darkness anymore. You cannot enter 2021 with darkness anymore. The light has come in your business. The light has come in your career. The light has come in your marriage. The light has come in your academics. The light has come. The light has come. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Genesis chapter 1. Verse 3, God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Why? Because darkness was over the surface of the earth. God decreed and declared light by the authority that said, Let there be light. I command light to locate you right now. Shine over your business, shine over your career, shine over your marriage, shine over your academics. Shine over your business. Shine over, shine over, shine over. Catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. The end has come to calamities in your house as a child of God. 
the end has come to disappointment in your career as a child of God. The end has come to sickness and diseases in your health as a child of God. Let all that has to do with you cast the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, let all that has to do with you cast the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, right now, With the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I usher you to the year 2021. With the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I usher you to the year 2021. 2021 is the year to watch and pray. But for we Christians, the Bible says, he who watches over us, neither sleeps nor slumbers. Father, by your glory from the mountain, by your authority from the mountain, I decree and declare your light in their businesses, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare your light in their family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shining light should overshadow darkness right now. Shining light should overshadow darkness right now. In your business, let there be light. In your career, let there be light. In your marriage, let there be light. In your family, let there be light. In your academics, let there be light. Light, kind the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. It is time. It is time. It is time. I can hear angels declaring, it is time. I can hear angels declaring, it is time. I can hear angels declaring, it is time. Here comes 2021. Here comes 2021. Here comes 2021. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For I will thank you. So viewers all over the world, it is time, here comes 2021, according to God's time, because God's time is the best. And God promised you that no matter what comes, no matter what happens, you will emerge victorious. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, your career will emerge victorious. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, your business will emerge victorious. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, your family, your children, your wife, your husband, all that has to do with you, we are much victorious because the shining light of God has come to dispel all shades of darkness. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Viewers all over the world, here comes 2021. We thank God for his mercy and favor. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I know this prayer is not limited by circumstances, time, space, or distance, each time you hear the voice of God, it's as powerful as God himself speaking. Have this prayer point in your house, play it from time to time, each time you pick it up, it catches the fire, because it is the fire of the Holy Ghost, the light of God that propels it. That is the driving force behind this prayer today. And we are we're expecting your testimonies. We're expecting your testimony because I know many people are touched. I know there will be testimony. I know there will be transformation because many are touched through this moment. And we're expecting your testimonies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you ask about the world, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Now it is time to listen to the mind of God.
Yes, viewers all over the world, welcome to the year 2021. We thank God for his mercy and favor, for being with us throughout 2020. And he has promised to continue being with his children throughout 2021 and beyond. That is God for you. Now, in my quiet place, in my private place, right at the prayer mountain, I had revelation. This is revelation, the mind of God about the year 2021. Well, the question is, does 2021 look like a twin brother to 2020? Well, it's like 2021 is a twin brother to 2020. In my revelation, I saw two images. I was just standing, they were walking towards me. On the chest of the one on the left hand side, on the left hand side was written boldly 2020. On the chest of the one on the right hand side was written 2021. And both of them were approaching me. All of a sudden, I looked and I discovered that 2020 waved and turned back and walked away. And 2021 walked closer and immediately I looked at the face, wow. It was like this. If you ask all over the world, 2021. Twin brother to 2020. What the face? What does this mean? It's a parable. Now, this is a full revelation. And I'm going to read. It will be on my YouTube channel. It will be on my Instagram. Go there. I have a comprehensive look at it. But I'm going to take it from the beginning. Mind of God for the year 2021 as it is revealed to wise man Daniel. Not this body you are looking at, but the one that enjoys the grace. The mind of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. What Christians need to know in order to capture this year, 2021. This year is not smiling at all. I told you it's a twin brother to 2020. And with the face this way, means an extension this year. Greetings from the Elohim family, viewers all over the world. You are welcome to the year 2021. This year, 2021, looks like a twin brother to the year 2020. People of God, this year, 2021, is not smiling at all. The anger on his face is too much. This is God's message to his children all over the world. Psalm 1 to 1, from verses 1 to the end. In summary, he who watches over us neither sleeps nor slumbers. As a human being, you say, I have prayed hard, fasted for many years, never missed a church service, preached powerful sermons, performed many signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. But the question now is, having done all this, where is your seat in the assembly of God's people? Hmm. Your genuine relationship and fellowship with God Almighty secure you a permanent seat in the assembly of God's people in heaven. Remember, as it is in heaven, so it is here on earth, because there is another fellowship in heaven. If you have a seat in the assembly of God, it means as they are worshiping there, you are part of them, and as you're worshiping here, you're also part of heaven, because what happened in heaven is an extension of what you're enjoying here. Fasting and praying without a genuine relationship with God is like standing at the war front without the necessary weapons to defeat the enemy. Prayer is like a stick of matches, while genuine relationship and fellowship with God is like the striker on the matches box, or on the match box, as the case may be. This matchstick, and this is matches box, you see? This is prayer. 
This is smart box, and this is a striker. It means this match stick or matches stick cannot catch fire without the match striker or the lighter on the match box. How do I mean? Watch. See? This is fire from the striker. This is prayer, and this is relationship with God, the striker. So it means if you don't have a good relationship with God, your prayer cannot catch fire. Your prayer cannot reach God. God cannot hear your prayer. You hear yourself, people will hear you, applaud you. Powerful prayer warrior. But your prayer does not go beyond your lips because it has no fire. Prayer, relationship with God. And prayer and relationship brings what? Fire. You see? You see? Brings fire. This is answer to your prayer, fire. Answer to your prayer, fire. It means without a good relationship with God, your prayer cannot catch fire. That is what you need to know in order to capture this year, 2021. <laughs> because this year is not smiling at all. Without a genuine relationship and fellowship with God, it means that our prayer needs to catch fire before God hears it and respond according to his will. Because without the striker on the matchbox, the matches cannot catch fire. In other words, without a genuine relationship and fellowship with God, the voices of our prayers cannot reach God because we already missed the mark. Satan will catch many so-called Christians cheap this year, 2021, because they lack a genuine relationship and fellowship with God. Because they only believe in praying hard, learning to speak in different tongues, than building a genuine relationship and fellowship with God Almighty, their creator. The forces of darkness this year, 2021, take note, we only fear our relationship and fellowship with God Almighty, not how much we pray and fast or learn to speak in different tongues. Now, here comes the exact mind of God for 2020. Many revelations I will read as the Lord permits. The rest will come later as the Lord permits as well. Now, the mind of God for 2021. Number one, this year 2021 is the year that human wisdom, might, and power will no longer work as usual or help those who so much rely on them. Our genuine relationship and fellowship with God is the way out. Therefore, it's either we live for God sincerely in order to survive this year or we become a prey in the hands of Satan. Because Satan will be very angry this year, 2021. Very angry. I mean, hungry for blood. And it will be very unfortunate to find out that many will be ready to set a table for Satan to come in and eat and dine with them. Number two, this year 2021 is the year that only the genuine love we show to the less privileged in the society becomes our defense against the hatred of the adversary. This is the year to share little we have with those people who have nothing to depend on. Otherwise, that little we have will become an instrument of temptations and attacks a gateway for Satan to come into our lives to kill, to steal, and destroy. Number three, this is the year that many will live from affluence to affliction. Hmm. 2021 is not smiling at all. Many rich people will begin to cry for help. Many will run down to their villages. But the question now is, can running down to our villages stop Satan from stealing, killing, and destroying? without God protecting us through our genuine relationship and fellowship with him, only the wisdom from God Almighty can stop those who have much but refuse to share with those who are dying of hunger and starvation from attacks of various kinds this year. It is not a crime to be rich. 
but it becomes a crime when you refuse to acknowledge God who placed you in that position by reaching out to the less privileged in the society whom God loves so much. Number four, viewers all over the world, listen to this and quote me right. There is no hope and there is no hiding place for the wicked, for those who have questionable source of income. The stingy, the greedy, and the oppressors who are cheating and oppressing the weak this year, 2021. Number five, darkness and light cannot come together on the altar of God. Take note. Now the time has come for God to expose darkness on his altar. I mean, using the pulpit as a means of deception will no longer be business as usual. It is a time to separate the wheat from the chaff. Number six, weapon of persecution and attacks will expose many leaders in the house of God with questionable callings this year, 2021. Remember that genuine ministers of God cannot and will never abandon the message of salvation and begin to use their pulpit as a platform for persecuting and attacking others. Our role model and master, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, was persecuted, but he never engaged in persecution. Neither did he reply his accusers. Instead, he loved his enemies and prayed for those who persecuted him and finally forgave all, including those who killed him, according to Luke 23, verse 34. This year, 2021, God says, by our fruits we shall be known. Matthew 7, 15. Through ministers of God who are ruled and directed by the Holy Spirit, we'll be preaching salvation through genuine love for Christ, giving to the needy, and forgiving all who have deeply hurt them in one way or the other, while others, while others, while others, we obviously employ the weapons of envy, jealousy, hatred, unforgiveness, and persecution this year, 2021. We are praying for unity and love in the body of Christ. Number seven. Ha, this is another issue. Coronavirus pandemic is a game from the devil and his agents. Take notes. But God permits it for a purpose. Hmm. This very evil game will bring out more tactics and strategies this year, 2021. For you to know that it is a game, it will lead to misunderstanding within nations and among nations. Within nations and among nations of the world. But at the end... What will happen to these nations? Will they be strong enough to challenge the evil forces behind this evil game? But one thing is certain. God has promised his children who are in genuine relationship and fellowship with him a safe passage. Many Christians have been fasting and praying and asking God, why did you permit this evil game? Now, this is a question for you as well. Have you forgotten that God Almighty permitted Job's temptation? In Job 2, verse 1 to 10? Have you also forgotten that God Almighty permitted that the Israelites will go into slavery in a foreign land for more than 400 years? In Exodus 12, verse 40 to 41? But at the end, what happened to Job? What happened to Israelites? If you keep asking God, why, 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 you will compromise your relationship and fellowship with him, which is the only weapon to engage this battle and emerge victorious this year, 2021. Remember that Christianity is not a religion, it's not a custom, it's not a tradition, but a relationship with God Almighty from a genuine heart. This is the way out. Now, people say charity begins at home. 
let me come down precisely to my nation, Nigeria. Hmm. Nigeria government should pray against a new wave of youth protests because it will be more disastrous than the last one. We pray that God should help our government to carry out their promises, knowing that promise is a debt that needs to be paid. Number nine, Nigeria, both young and old, anytime you are going out, make sure you tell your husband, your wife, your children, your father, your mother, your siblings, your destination. Don't go anywhere in secret without telling your family members so that they can always trace you to your destination in case of anything, in case of anything, in case of anything. Leaving your homes to your destinations without telling your family members will give the plan easy access to work. But telling your family members where you are going will put fear in the evil plot task to withdraw. It's a parable. And always cover yourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ before leaving your homes to your destinations. This will serve as a means of protection against the plots of the enemies. But take note, where God guides, he provides enough security. Therefore, never you go anywhere, Jesus Christ will not be welcomed. Number 10. Hmm. Many undergraduates and graduates of various institutions, as a result of no employment, no shelter, no food to eat, become so angry and hot that they will resort to stealing, killing, and destruction. And other dirty games in order to survive this year, 2021. Those who have more than enough and believe in ignoring the cry of the youths and the less privileged in the society because they go out with thousands of security Security forces, security forces around them should remember that among those securities are youths. They still have the blood and spirit of youth in them. <laughs> Which your money, fame, and popularity cannot control. Don't forget that they are human beings like you. And only God can control human nature. Not man. Your money, your fame, your popularity can only control their circumstances, but not the human nature in them, which can reverse any time if care is not taken. This is food for thought for the elites and the rich in the society. Nigeria and other nations, let us pray for our youths. Their future is crying for help. Hmm. Hmm. Number 11, let us pray for our country, Uganda, for a peaceful election this year, 2021. Because there is agitation and anger in the heart of the people. We pray that the present government will not apply force that will lead to bloodshed. Let us also pray for long life for the opposition leader because there are lots of threats. So we're talking now, threats, plots, plan, this way, that way. Let's pray, there's nothing God cannot do. Number 12, we are praying for African continent as a whole. For God's intervention, a person can only be in a position of authority as long as God permits. May God help our African leaders to make heaven at the end of their journey on earth. The aim and objective of every individual on this earth is to make heaven at last. That is the only reason why we are living. Everybody wants to travel or embark on a journey at the right time. Two African leaders we receive calls or invitation letters to travel somewhere. which ordinarily is not their wish at this time. But remember, man proposes, 
God disposes. What does this mean? Hmm. We are praying for our Africa leaders. Number 13, there is a country in Africa that has opened her doors for Satan to enter through worshipping idols and carrying out ritual rites. The future of this country is crying for help because a group of enemies are planning to launch attack, a heavy attack against this country. Let us pray that God should stop this attack and not allow it to spread to another African country. Hmm. Number 14, God loves the United States of America so much as a nation and wants peace to reign in the land. But God is asking America so many questions that has not been answered. Questions like, why are you challenging my authority, power, and majesty by pointing many fingers against my nature and likeness? Hmm. There are three pairs of shoes that God does not expect America or any other nation of the world to wear. Hmm. Against his nature and likeness. But unfortunately, America as a nation is already wearing those shoes. And now, those shoes are too heavy for America to work with. You know, when you put on a heavy shoe, it's a parable. It's difficult for you to move. A very big parable. Hmm. God is still saying something over the case of America. America needs prayers, just as other nations of the world needs prayers. Still in America, number 15, a key member of the Republican Party will be tired to continue in his office. Why? Hmm. Challenges or what? He cannot bear or what? He cannot stop or what? We force him out of office or what? Well, we are praying for America as a whole. Finally, finally, the name God tagged this year, 2021, is the year to watch and pray for Christians and believers all over the world. And also the year of questions and answers for others. It is obvious that there were many unanswered questions in the past years. But this year, 2021, there will be strange answers to many questions. In fact, 99% of unanswered questions will have surprising and strange answers this year, 2021. Many things will begin to unfold that will shock religious and political bodies and leaders at large and the whole world. But one thing is certain about this year, 2021. God Almighty, in his infinite mercy and favor, promises to secure and protect his children all over the world. Take note of that. No matter what comes, no matter what happens, God's banner over his children is love. God's love becomes our protection against the evil plots of the adversary, Satan and his agents. There are other messages and revelations, but these are the ones I am permitted to say publicly for now. The rest will be coming as the Lord wills and permits. God's words are yes and amen. May God bless his words in the midst of our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Elohim, God lives in us. Wow. That is it for the year 2021. This year is not smiling at all, but the Lord is with us. Children of God, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If Job could not be afraid, who are you to be afraid? If Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego could not be afraid, who are you to be afraid? If Paul and Silas could not be afraid, who are you to be afraid? It's a big word. Thank you. Thank you. And once again, viewers all over the world, we thank you for joining us in prayers, for making it possible for God to permit us to see this year 2021. And God promised to 
be with us to overcome the challenges of 2021. Thank you very much. I wish you the best. God bless you.